Hi there, it's Mare. Today I'm making some shimmer sprays and it's a quick and easy way to add a little glimmer, a little shimmer to your pages, your junk journal pages or your book pages, what it cards even. Um, I like shimmer. I use some shimmer even in my grungy vintage journals um, like this color here. It's just some, you know, just really pretty. This is like a bronzy color. And you shake it. This is Antique Gold. And this is a Nouveau product that Micah missed. I purchased this on scrapbook.com and it was probably about $7 plus shipping for the entire order. So, I, I mean, I used a lot of the pink one for, and this isn't the original cap, for my current girly journal that I'm creating, um, but it's almost almost at half already. And um, I, I just use it, you know, frequently. Uh, this is a top actually from a butter sprayer and the tube itself, this part is a lot thicker in this. So I really liked that. And it, and it worked, I cut it down quite a bit on an angle. Those are all the little tips that I've learned. Um, I've watched some videos in the past few months, so I've taken bits and pieces from different videos, things that I liked, things that I didn't quite like very much, and just changed it up to make it my own. And that's really fun for me, for crafting, just to, just to make it for me, the way I'm gonna use it, why I wanna use it, all of that, those things. So you're gonna need some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, over, you know, over 90 or whatever, the higher one, not the, the lower one. A little um, bonding agent, something sticky like maybe PVA glue or some Mod Podge or hairspray, which I've just put in this little thing here. Um, distilled water, if you'd like to add water to yours. I'm out of distilled water. I used it for my um, essential oil and fragrant oil sprays, but I don't have any, so I've, I'm using just straight alcohol. If you're sensitive to that scent, this may not be something you will do. It does dissipate once you spray it on your pages. The smell does go away, and it dries super fast, and that was super important for me because I didn't want to add too much water. There are ones that had just water and a sticky agent and such. I don't. I just don't want my thinner pages to do that. And I didn't want to differentiate. But what bottle has <laughs> the the more water? What bottle does not for the kind of page I'm using? So I'm just using the rubbing alcohol. You also need some kind of sparkle or shimmer. Um, I have you know, mica powders that I have in a big case like this. Not everybody's gonna have that. I love the shimmer of, of mica and such, so I had found a big set of that. You can buy it off of Amazon. I believe I went through the Artesia website. Um, or some Pearl X. Pearl X is a wonderful product. Um, you can get the bigger ones like this at Hobby Lobby or sets, whoops sets that come like in this size. This one happens to be pearl white. All right, get by my camera. That's pearl white. And they come in little jars like that, which I have a bunch of those. And what else? You can use, if you want color to it, not just the, if this makes sense, the shimmer color. If you actually want color to the, to the full liquid, you can use some alcohol inks. This one is a pearl color, which I like quite a bit. Um, I've got other alcohol inks that I use for alcohol ink um, artwork and art pages and such, but I like shimmer to be the color of the shimmer unless I'm just adding some pearl. Okay, um, now the other way you could go for shimmer part is, let me get the... At the Dollar Tree, they have this loose eyeshadow. This one is Sunshine, which is a very pretty gold color. They have all different colors. I bought Lollipop. 
which is this one here. And I just flipped it over like this as per one of the videos. And you just, I just used a metal file, nail file like this. It's not very sharp, but please be careful whatever you choose to use. Some are easier to pop off than others, but you just wedge it in there and then you flip up and it came off like this. So what you're gonna get is all the loose powder. And it's very shimmery, it's very sparkly. And I'm gonna probably use some of that because it's like a pink pink color lollipop. And this one happened to come off a lot easier. This one I believe is radiant. And it's like a brownish tone, brownish gold. It's very pretty. So that's an option as well. So that's for the micas. I'm gonna use the hairspray as my binding. The rubbing alcohol is my majority of my liquid. I'm going to use um, some of this lollipop there. And I'm also gonna add some pearl white or let's see, I think I had a pink one. I had a ballerina one somewhere. Ah, here it is right in front of me. Ballerina Glow I'm going to use with the pink. And, you know, it's almost like this. If anyone's familiar with the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that were out, do you see how the mica just sets, you know, without it being shaken? And then you just shake this way, back and forth, back and forth, like everybody tells you. But, you know, they still clogged up on me, so... Um, you know, you just do the best you can. I'm not going to guarantee that nothing will clog or that these won't clog, but I was going to the, um, going to my sink and unclogging with warm water and stuff like every few times I used it. So that was just a little too much for me. So I look at this, look at the, now I hit, you have to cut it down a lot because obviously the butter the butter bottle is a lot larger, so. But if you can see, the tubes are just slightly bigger with this one, and I really think that makes a difference with the clogging. You know, but you have to do everything right as well. You know, you have to not shake it up and down and such. Okay, so let's get going. I just use a little funnel. I have these leftover glass bottles. Oh, let me show you the bottles that you can use. This was Dollar Tree as well. These are just some travel bottles. These are plastic. And this cap, this yellow cap from this bottle, this is just parquet spray, but I think there's, I can't believe it's not butter. That'll fit as well. They fit on these bottles. So you just take these out use them somewhere else or, you know, recycle them, whatever, and use the bottle part and they will fit in there. So I'm going to keep, you know, hold on to these until I get more of the sprayers from the butter bottles, ask some family members or such. And that's what I am going to use because it really did work well. But for today, I'll just show you what I do. So I'm just going to put rubbing alcohol in it probably, what, two-thirds or so full, like such. Just put some in there. It's not an exact science. And I'm just using the hairspray. Now, if you put a binding agent in there and after you use your glimmer mist or your shimmer mist, whatever, um, if you use it and you don't find that it's, you know, it's falling off too easily, maybe you'd like to use a different binding agent or a little more in the, your next batch or add more to it. So I'm just going to squeeze some in there. I'm not filling it the rest of the way or anything, but just about that much. And I just, it's just, just using, you know, probably what, a tablespoon or so. So I put that in there and then for my mist, I'm going to pop that open. I have a couple of empty containers that I will end up putting this in to save it for a different time. Now I have this little scooper. This was, um, I believe, at the Dollar Tree as well. But you can find a whole package of these. Um, the jewelry, jewelry shop 
brand at Hobby Lobby that they put on 50% off every other week or every few weeks. Um, I didn't find it by the, um, you know, where all the earring and necklace um, findings are, but it's closer to the resin stuff. These are like little resin sticks. You can find them on Amazon too. So I just want a few heapings of them. So I'm gonna put the pink in here. Like so. Now when you go to store your stuff, you know that a lot of people store it and say, oh, store them on the side. Well, I am just don't have the room for that, honestly. So I just stand them straight up and just make sure I shake them the proper way or stir them the proper way when I'm ready to use it. And that one's a little full. Now you can buy these as well. Make sure they're not wet. Yeah, that's painful to watch. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in the bottle. Okay. And you may need to add more as you go. So I'm gonna close this up. Put my, my topper on. Oh, one more thing. Now, you want to use glass because if you use plastic or anything else, I don't. I believe it, it could just you know mess it up. But I put a little glass. Again, it was something that I that I saw. Let me move some of this out of the way so I can see it. Yeah, here's one. You can use one or two, but it's probably like a, a six or four millimeter bead. Let's put it there. Just a little glass bead. I drop it in there. And that's what you're gonna hear, that little rattle when it mixes up. Let me make sure that's down at the bottom a little too far. So I'm just gonna take it and take my scissors on an angle and just clip a little off. That way it doesn't get stuck at the bottom and that mica gets trapped underneath it. And we're just gonna go side to side with it. Can you hear the, the bead jangling around? I think um, one lady used two or three, you know, smaller sized ones. But look at how pretty that is, swirling around. Ugh, oh, it's just so gorgeous. So what you're gonna do when you go to use it like here's black and of course all shimmer and metallics show up better on black than they do on regular but i i like the subtlety of when you're using it on something like this again because it's the rubbing alcohol in the hairspray and not too much water it's really not going to affect my paper too much um, uh, even when I use just a little bit of water mixed in with the rug, which is fine. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's already starting to dry, which again, that's the alcohol. It's going to dry really quickly. And it's just, a, just such a pretty shimmer. And you see it on the black? Look at that. Ooh, that gives such a good shimmer. Now, you know, any kind, even like this, let me show you what it would look like. Now, I happen just to have these kind of things. This is for um, my journal that I'm currently making. So I just go side to side right before I spray it. Can you hear that little bead in there? And do that. And I don't mind it on my work table. It's not super heavy. But it's just when it dries, it just gives such a nice shimmer. So this here, which I, you know, you can make the the darker. And we can go on this. That has a bit of a wider one. That gives a nice shimmer. This is just a doll that I'm extending with lace and fabric for my current journal, but let me grab a piece of black again. And you can kind of tell 
just by seeing. Now see that? Oh, that's so pretty. So if you can imagine it on on book page or on grungy, just even from a, a higher distance, you can get it more subtle. It's just so beautiful. I just love it. And it just, get, to me, still looks vintage. It doesn't have to look super blingy. So, okay, that is it. Oh, one more thing. And I am going to try to do this with the one I just did. So, again, if you want to change the color, you can use alcohol inks. Now, it's not going to, you know, it's if you put red in or something, it's going to take over for you. And um, But a little bit, a few drops. This is pearl. And I just added a little alcohol ink to that. Go side to side again. Ooh, it did. It added a little bit of pearl, more pearl in there. And I just think they turn out beautiful. Okay, so hopefully this will be a help for some, some of you. And I did not forget about the giveaway. I will, I'm still working on the journals. I, I say journals because the giveaway is going to be this size. This size. Not very big. But it's going to be packed with stuff like I like. And I'm going to make more than just one. So I'll do, um, they, the person who wins will get a choice out of three different journals. The other two will go up for sale in my Etsy shop. So just to let you know, that is still happening. So I'm back at it. And I thank you for watching and have a great day.